Okay, continuing on in the green slice, we will see now that we have the option graphing a line through a given point with a given slope. Now this is just a little different from the uh, problem that we did earlier where we had the equation of the line in slope intercept form because now we don't have the y intercept. We simply have a point which is given as negative 1, negative 2. Now remember that when we have a point written in this form, this is called an ordered pair, which means that these two numbers here are in the order x, then y, like alphabetical order. So this is our x distance, and this is our y distance. So to locate that point, go directly to the center, the origin, and count 1 to the left, which would be a negative 1, and then 2 down. Let's grab our pencil and do that. Notice that Alex helps keep you straight here because as we go 1 to the left and then 2 down it gives us these guidelines to help us stay on our numbers. Click that point and we have located the point negative 1 and negative 2. That's 1 left and 2 down. Now had this number been positive 1 we would have gone to the right and then down if it's negative and so on. Let's uh, go back and look at our slope. Notice that the slope in this case is one half. Now that fraction means that the slope 1 over 2 has a rise of 1, that's positive 1, and a run of 2. So simply go to your point, count 1 up because that's your rise of positive 1, and 2 to the right that's going to be your run of two. Always count the run to the right. Grab your line, click, click, and we should be good to go. Let's do that again. And notice that we might get something different here. And we do. Notice that we have the point negative one, three. So once again, the points are in alphabetical order. This is x, this is y. The x is negative, which means we're going left. The y is positive, which means we're going up. So grab your pencil, 1 left and 3 up, make a dot. Let's look at our slope. Now this time our slope is negative 1. Remember that we like slopes, which are fractions, because remember slope is always a fraction, rise over run. But if we have the whole, a whole number, remember whole numbers are going to be fractions over 1. So in the event that we have a slope here, which is negative 1, that means we're going to have the fraction negative 1 over 1, which means that we're going to go to our point, count down 1, and then write 1. Rise is negative 1, run is positive 1. Grab your line tool, click your two points, and we should be good to go.